King John is considered one of the worst kings that England ever had. He is most famous for the signing of the Magna Carta, a decree that limited the power of the king, ensured feudal rights, and also stated that no man, including the king, was above the law. His reign was considered to have been chaotic and disastrous. However, in 1216, inside of Newark Castle, inside of the gatehouse, John died from a particularly nasty bout of dysentery. But there were rumours that emerged after his death that in fact John had been killed, in rather brutal fashion. So join us today as we look at the painful death of King John of England. And remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. John was born around Christmas in 1166 in Oxford, and he was the youngest and favourite son of King Henry II. When his father passed away in 1189, his brother Richard became the King of England and King Richard I. John was given gifts of land, titles and money, following his father's death. However, Richard in 1190 regarded his nephew Arthur as the heir to the throne. Richard I was imprisoned in Germany in 1193, and during this John tried to take control of the throne of England, but he failed to do so, and when Richard returned the following year, John was banished from the country. The two brothers did make up, and when Arthur was captured and taken prisoner, John was made the heir to Richard's throne. In 1199, Richard passed away, and then John became the king. War with France continued and began again, which was triggered by John's second marriage to Isabella, the Countess of Hugelmer. She had already been engaged to a prominent French noble, and the marriage threatened the interests of the French royal family. John treated these with contempt, and this resulted in an uprising that was crushed initially by John, but war did break out. By 1206, John had lost Normandy, Anjou, and other important parts of France, and these failures led to many to question his suitability to rule in England. It damaged his reputation massively, and John was determined to win these back, but in order to do so, he needed a large amount of money to continue to go to war with France. For this, he began to impose rather harsh taxes, and his government were ruthless in obtaining them, which caused a rather big problem with his popularity. People in England did not like paying extra tax, and many of them could not afford to do so. But in England, the barons who presided over large amounts of land were incredibly unhappy with John and his new taxes. John exploited his power and rights to take as much as he wanted, and the barons were furious. Eventually they went to war with the monarchy, and when the rebel barons took many different strategic castles and sites, the barons even invited the French king to England to help them take the fight to John, and lead them, and it was said that the French king did have a claim to the throne. In 1215, John was forced to negotiate with the rebels when they seized London, and on the 19th of June, 1215, he accepted the terms put forward by the barons, and was forced to sign Magna Carta, or the Great Charter, that limited his powers, and ensured that the king was not above the law. It was the first formal document, stating that the monarch was under the rule of the country, as much as his people were, and that the rights of individuals were to be upheld, even if the king did not like this. This settlement was deemed impractical, as John claimed that it was signed under duress, and the Pope took his side, and King John then laid waste and rampaged through the northern counties and the Scottish border region. When Louis of France did invade, John continued to fight the barons, but in October 1216, everything changed for the much reviled and hated King of England. In October 1216, John was travelling across England with a number of his followers, and he stopped to rest at an abbey of Swineshead in the Lincolnshire Fens. In the treacherous fens, he had lost half his baggage, and when he arrived, the residents of the abbey quickly scrambled to find food and accommodation fit for the king. It's believed that John may have even lost the English crown jewels in his travels at the time, and it's suggested that some of these even fell into the wash when he crossed the water. Some rumours have emerged about what occurred inside of the abbey. One is that inside of the house, John was poisoned by the monks, who found the king to be very arrogant. It was believed that the abbot did not want to host John, and that the king's reputation for cruelty and spite and even murder did not sit well with the monastic order. John ate their food and drank with the monks, and one allegation is that John was poisoned by the monks, 
with poison that had been extracted from toads, and this was considered deadly. But at some point the king did leave the abbey, and it's not entirely confirmed what emerged from the visit, and he continued on to Newark Castle a short while away. It's believed that John met his end near or very close to a toilet inside of Newark Castle in October 1216. It's mostly believed that King John died from dysentery, a disease and illness that causes serious diarrhoea and eventually death. It was believed that John had been ill for quite some time before he came to settle in Newark. The rumours state that he could have been poisoned, or that he was brought down by eating unripe peaches which poisoned him and made him very sick, or also that he could have drank too much sweet ale which also made him ill. It was said to say John died of overindulgence was a way of criticising his personality. It implies intemperance, gluttony and imprudence. To say he was poisoned shows he was hated. Whatever the truth, those writing down history had nothing good to say about John. Dysentery is caused by parasites in the gut and is most commonly spread by consuming dirty water or food that has been contaminated with human waste. It was not necessarily a condition of the common people who lived in unsanitary conditions, as lots of food and vegetables had been grown in soil, which was fertilised by human waste. It's likely that the king, who had been marching across the country, and was most probably physically exhausted and emotionally exhausted, succumbed to his fate from dysentery. It was a condition that could affect anyone, for example Edward I died from it, as he went to renew his war with Robert the Bruce in 1307, and it could have also caused the death of Edward the Black Prince. Dysentery also killed the hero of Agincourt, Henry V, whilst he was fighting away in France. John was regarded as a cruel king, who punished his people and made their lives rather miserable, but today dysentery still kills many around the world, as sewer systems and water systems are not very advanced. He died on the 19th of October, 1216. It's likely that it was inside the gatehouse of Newark Castle, or in a room that was fitted with a functioning toilet following having a feast at the castle. Following John's death, his body was taken south by a group of mercenaries where he was buried inside of Worcester Cathedral. There is some debate as to what caused his death. Was it drinking dirty water or eating vegetables contaminated with human waste or was it due to overeating? There is a tradition that John died from eating too many peaches or that he was in fact poisoned by monks or other people who wished to end his notorious reign. John has been described as being distasteful and even dangerous, and spiteful and cruel. From this, John remains a very controversial figure in history, with most people considering that he was in fact the very worst king that England ever had. The fact he went to war with the barons, and was forced to sign a charter that limited his power, and ensured he was not above the people with regards to the law, signifies what a truly terrible king he really was. Once again, thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.